Welcome to the FieldView Hints series of videos. In this video, we're going to mount a DVC 6200 on an air to open GX valve assembly. Before we begin, we urge you to read and follow all directions in the included installation instructions. If you do not have these instructions, please reference our quick start guide or the instruction manual online at the web address at the bottom of the screen. Before performing any maintenance operations, always wear protective clothing, gloves, and eyewear. Please follow all site requirements for safety. We're going to be mounting a DVC 6200 on an air to open GX. Air to open can be identified by a vent in the top casing. You also have to identify the proper yoke side to mount the digital valve controller. Note the casing supply connection on the yoke leg. Some pre-assembly of the magnetic assembly is required. The array is mounted on the connector arm using two Allen head screws using the top and the third hole of the connector arm. We will attach those with two Allen head screws and we can then tighten those up. Loosely attach the connector arm to the valve stem connector. Do not tighten the fasteners because fine adjustment is required. Use the alignment template which came with the mounting kit. Attach it to the axwater yoke leg and then adjust the array so we have the white line on the array above the white line on the alignment template. Once you have it in that position, tighten it up. Also ensure you are using the GX mounting template. The pneumatic output port on the DVC 6200 lines up with the integral GX actuator pneumatic port. Be sure to remove the plug from the DVC 6200. Also remove the vent from the DVC 6200 to allow for attachment to the actuator. Insert two hex socket cap screws in the right yoke leg, leaving generous space. Place the O-ring on the DVC 6200's pneumatic output port. A little silicone grease comes in handy to make it stick there. Now install the DVC 6200 under the two cap screws that we've installed. Install the third cap screw on the left hand side of the DVC 6200 at the bottom. Then use a 5mm hex wrench to tighten the third screw. Ensure that all three bolts are good and tight. Ensure the vent is installed. Now install the regulator onto the DVC 6200. After air is attached, you're now ready for calibration. 